Today, you're going to learn how to create a WooCommerce POS using off-the-rack WordPress plugins. No technical knowledge required. I'll walk you through every step in the process, and by the end of this video, you'll have a working WooCommerce POS system. Before I show you how to set up your WooCommerce POS, let's take a quick tour of the finished interface so that you know what you'll be building. In this tutorial, you're going to use WooCommerce to power the back end and then create a nice front end POS like this. Your staff or your customers will be able to browse different products or services. They can choose from different variations like the length of massage. They can search if needed. You can also add filters. Once you add the shoppers items to their cart, you'll be able to check out and all you need to do is enter the information. Uh, there's no need to enter a payment method. And then once you place that order, that information will be sent to your backend staff or you'll also have a chance to print out a receipt or otherwise email someone. To follow this tutorial, you're only going to need two things. First, we'll assume that you've already installed both WordPress and WooCommerce. And then you'll also need the WooCommerce product table plugin to create your front-end POS interface. You can find a link to the plugin in the description. Once you have those two things, you're ready to start building. To get started, you'll want to set up the back-end inventory management for your POS. To do this, you can use the regular WooCommerce products feature to add all your physical products or services or anything else you offer via your POS. To get started, Go to Products Add New, and then fill in the information. You want to add a title, a description. Uh, if you want to organize your services into different sections in the POS, you can add a category. Tags work as well. You want to add an image, as this will help your staff or customers pick the item out on the POS. And the other important thing is the product type. Uh, if it, you offer only a single version of the product, you'll want to choose simple product. But for this example, I have a massage and it might have different lengths. So I've selected variable product and then you can see that each length has its own option and uh, price. And then in your POS, uh, your front staff will be able to select different lengths using a drop down, which is really convenient. If you want to add additional information like uh, an upgrade, like an optional upgrade to use a different type of thing or add an ingredient, you can also use the WooCommerce product add-ons plugin. Uh, we'll link that in the description. Once you've finished your product, go ahead and publish it. And then you'll want to repeat the same process for all the unique products or services that you want to offer via your POS. Once you've added all your products or services, you're ready to create the front-end POS interface. To do that, you'll want to install and activate the WooCommerce Products Table plugin. If you haven't already downloaded the plugin, you can find a link in the video description. Then, to open the plugin settings, go to the Settings area under WooCommerce, then click on the Products tab, and then select Product Tables. Make sure you enter your license key to activate the plugin's functionality. Then you can configure how the front end WooCommerce POS works using the plugin settings. First, you'll want to choose the columns that appear in your POS. Uh, this will help your staff or customers find the items they want to add to their cart faster. Uh, I recommend a good starting point as image name, description, price, and add to cart. But you can also add extra information here like categories or tags, uh, custom fields, product attributes, uh, really anything that fits your business and will make it easier for your staff or customers to find the right items. Further down, you'll wanna go to the add to cart column. And here you wanna make sure to show the quantity selectors in the add to cart column. Uh, this will help people purchase multiple products or services. Uh, you can just enter the quantity and that's all you need to do. And then in variations, if you're using variable products, you'll want to choose drop-down lists. 
Uh, this makes it really convenient to choose between different variants. Like for our example, the massage, you can use a drop down to select anywhere from 60 to 120 minutes. And then further down in the table controls, you can optionally add a search box or product filters. Uh, this really depends on how many products or services you offer. Uh, if you only have a few, you might not need them. But if you have a lot of services or products, you might want to add some filters to help people quickly find the right item. You can also check out all the other settings here. Uh, you might find something useful for your unique situation. But really, the only thing you absolutely need to configure are the columns and then the Add to Cart settings. Once you've made your choices, make sure to save your changes. Once you've configured the plugin settings, you're ready to add the actual front end POS form. To create this form, you can use a regular WordPress page. So go to Pages, Add New. Then you just need to add the WooCommerce product table short code wherever you want the form to appear. One neat thing you can do, which I've demonstrated here, is divide your POS into different categories by using the category filter in the short code to pull out specific categories. You can also mix and match it with regular content. So you can see I've just added a regular heading block here and then the short code and then another heading block and the short code with a different category. And this will help your staff or customers quickly move between categories. Uh, you could also use tags here depending on how many products or services you offer. Once you've added all the short codes that you want to feature, just go ahead and publish the page like you normally would. At this point, you have a working front-end POS page, but the last thing you want to do is simplify the core WooCommerce checkout process to make it easier for your staff or customers to check out. Uh, unlike an online e-commerce store, you probably don't need to accept uh, credit card payments or PayPal payments directly through WooCommerce. Uh, if you're going to do that, you might have a card reader already, or uh, you might just simply use cash. So to simplify this checkout process, you'll want to go to WooCommerce, Settings, then find the Payments tab. And here, uh, you can just turn off anything like PayPal or Stripe, and all you need is the Cash on Delivery option. Uh, obviously, there's no delivery here, but your customers can just pay you in person, which is all you need. Then save your changes, and that will make for a really streamlined checkout process. At this point, your WooCommerce POS system is complete, uh, but before we finish the video, let's just run through some cool ways that you can further enhance your POS. Uh, you might need some plugins for some of these, but they can help you adapt the POS to your business. If you want to collect additional information about your customers when you process them through your POS, you can use a plugin called Checkout Field Editor to add new fields for like your customer's name, a referral number, or anything else. Uh, if you do want to accept credit payments by credit cards, you can go back and enable one of those PayPal or Stripe gateways. Uh, again, we disabled that in the previous step, but uh, you might have a reason for accepting credit cards directly through WooCommerce. Um, in the current implementation, your POS system is public. Uh, you might want to make that private if it's a part of an otherwise public website. Uh, to do that, you can use a plugin called WooCommerce Private Store. Or uh, depending how your website's set up, you can also just use WordPress's built-in password protection tool to add a password to just the page with your POS. To help you streamline order management and make sure that orders get routed to the right spot after they're entered in the POS, you have a few options. Uh, one option is to, you can print invoices. Uh, you, there are plugins called WooCommerce Automatic Order Printing and WooCommerce Print Orders. So you can hook your site up to a printer and then give a paper receipt either to the customer or to deliver to your back office staff. And another option is a plugin called Advanced Notifications, which will let you send order notifications to different email addresses depending on which products or services 
were entered in the POS. And that's it. You're ready to get started with your new WooCommerce POS system. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment or a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great videos on how to get the most from WordPress and WooCommerce.